She stood in the spirit and in the light. All of a sudden, though, she gets a jab to her right. She told herself she will not lose control. She will not get angry. But the hatred in her was hard as stone. As she struggled to try to walk off, chatters like arrows stung her back. Her left foot seemed contrary to her wish to fly away. Alone, no sound came to her. All utterances were spliced at her throat. She recalled at that moment Sisyphus, who was condemned to push a giant boulder up the mountain. Not once, not twice. But again and again, watch it fall up again and watch it roll down again. That is me. That is you. That too is the activist who sensed fear in the slightly inebriated man who kicked her. The employee who realized how powerless her boss felt. And the practitioner who noted the insecurity of the status quo. <coughs> we are different from Sisyphus in that Sisyphus was tied to that boulder of habitual emotions. We, on the other hand, have the ability to recognize and to go to the root. The root is merely a slight shift of heart. Am I lowest, most desperate? I was searching for a savior. I found salvation in compassion. When Gandhi was asked, why is it that you continually sacrifice yourself for the sake of India? He replied, I only do this for myself. When we serve others, we're serving ourselves. As the Upanishad says, it's God feeding God.
like to offer to you this practice of loving kindness. One thing I do want to clarify is that this mindfulness is different from memory and thinking. Memory is when I thought about the Charter for Compassion launch. Thinking is when I analyze how the event went, all the people that were there. And mindfulness is where I notice that I am recalling that particular event. Here, in the West, we need to practice, in particular, patience and non-aversion to the dark side of ourselves. The pride, as the boys sang about, the competitiveness, the greed, the guilt, and even the physical phenomenon, the ailments, the pain and aches, cancer. Be kind to our dark sides as well as our virtuous and good sides. So if you will, close your eyes and follow me. Let's just take a second to take a deep breath. Breathe deep into the inner sanctum of ourselves. At the seat of our belly, full of life, full of breath. We inhale and exhale. One more time, in and out. When this noticing of the body, we move to listening. Between the sounds and the tones of music, we hear silence. Between the syllables of my voice, you hear the sound of silence. The sound of silence is not an oxymoron. It's an actual high-frequency sound. Open to it and shift your attention there. With all of the goodness that's accumulated here at St. Patrick's, directed to ourselves, the destructive emotions, the virtuous kindness, the wish to engage others. May we go deep in our wisdom and compassion and manifest outward. When you're ready, direct this energy that snowballs as you spread it to the person right of you and to the person left of you. May you, brother or sister, May you live a safe and happy life. Discover that jewel of wisdom and kindness within you, so that you may work tirelessly to alleviate the suffering of our fellow creatures. May all of us always treat all others as we wish to be treated ourselves. Now, direct this goodness to all in your community, to your beloved strangers, and even to enemies. May all refrain consistently and emphatically from inflicting pain. May all know compassion as joy and light.